Hey guys, Joey Resendez here. This is uh, the tutorial video for Etude number three for the 2020-2021 um, TMEA saxophone Etudes. Uh, this is Fairling number 14. Again, there's not a whole lot to this Etude um, as it is the first one. It's pretty much almost all, is it all 16? No, there's one eighth note in there. <laughs> it's all 16th notes, except for one eighth note and then a group of six uh, sectuplets there at the very end. Anyway, so right off the bat, rhythm is going to be very hard in this one, right? Um, make sure that you are very well, that you are very familiar with the key that it's in. This is the key of D for saxophone. Um, that's going to be concert F for alto and baritone and concert C for the tenor. Okay, so just make sure that you know your full range scale. Start on D, go all the way up to high E or F sharp if you're pouring as a high F sharp key, then down to low B or low A if you're playing with um, a baritone with a low A key. <laughs> nice to, to know all the, ar the, the arpeggios that you're going to be playing in this safety as well. There's lots of them. We got lots of D arpeggios, lots of A major arpeggios, D major. Um, so just be um, well versed in those as well. Um, make sure you have your measures numbered as I'm going to be referring to some measure numbers in here. The first measure starts on the A. So you got the pickup um, measure. And then measure one is the A. Bum, 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 bum. That's your first measure, okay? All right, so right off the bat, we got this nice good D major arpeggio um, leading up um, into, into measure one. And make sure you get those, those accents um, nice and clear. Right off the bat, uh, measure two, D major. And then A major. Make sure that you got these. You got some really nice, good articulation happening on the on the staccatos here in measures five, measure six. Um, both of those measures are going to follow the same articulation pattern: slur two and then tongue. Actually, slur three and then tongue five. Alrighty, and you have a little bit of a funky um, tongue one slur three that follows in measure seven. And then one of the hardest things for me in this etude is. Um, making sure that you're playing that, that nice full um, crescendo. No, it's not really a crescendo, it's make sure you're ending the phrase fully um, in measure eight on that, um, on that A major arpeggio. And then coming in very, very softly um, on the piano that comes after it. You got one sixteenth um, rest there to, to set up, to play that very softly. You wanna really overshoot that, uh, that um, that dynamic there. I would think more pianissimo there rather than the piano. And really, really, really sell that that dynamic right there, okay? You're only gonna be down there for a little bit because you have a crescendo coming in two bars later, okay? So just really sell that, that dynamic. All right, then we have some more arpeggios here. Lots of arpeggios in this piece, in this etude. Make sure you're nailing all these um, these articulations here, you may have some funky ones like here in measure six, seven, eight, measure nine. You got tongue one, slur two, tongue one. D major. G major there in measure 11. And then D major again in measure 12. All right. And then we have over here, ooh, what is this? Uh, G sharp, uh, this, this is A. Uh, e major. It's like the E7. Going into A major. And then we have these fun little um, A major, B minor our, our, um, arpeggios. Make sure you get a good, nice diminuendo there going down into the A in measure 16. Ah. Really, again, really sell that that um, diminue there because you were just gonna go back up from there. Go back down, even though it doesn't. In my edition right here, 
you don't have a, a um a dynamic marking here in measure 18, 19, 20, measure 21, but you do have that um, hairpin dynamic, the um, the diminuendo going into there. So st I'm starting over here in measure 18. <laughs> And this is, if I'm playing the, the etude in its entirety, this is where I would breathe the first time. And then that'd be the only time I breathe. Make sure you get a nice, good diminuendo there. Go into the piano, measure 25, 23, 24, yeah, sorry, 25. Yeah, but you have a breath mark here on the down, on, after the first note, measure 28. Um, I wouldn't take it personally um, because you're literally playing five seconds uh, or five or six seconds more music. So um, I think you could probably make that, especially if you get a good enough breath and measure 22 after that high A. Make sure you get your, your octave key, your thumb really working there. Um, you're changing it every, every uh, you're lifting and pushing it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> every, every, um, Note there, you're moving your thumb in measure 29. And then into measure 30, okay? So get your thumb happening. Don't move your jaw a lot to, to make those notes come out. Just um, get it nice and just make, trust your fingers, trust your armature. Aim for the lower notes. Number one, that's the more important thing. That's the moving line. <laughs> But that high C is going to come out no matter what. So if you're aiming down, the low notes, maybe not so much. So if you're aiming down low, that's going to be good. Okay. Then we have your outlining the, 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 um, the arpeggio here with these neighbor tones. And then right here, we have a sex couplet. If you're going at a good clip, this is going to be really, really fast to come. Um, and mo some of you may not be able to do it. Um, so I think it'd be okay if you did a, um, if you put another slur in there between the D and the F sharp, um, on the upper octave as well. I don't, as a, if I were judging it, I really wouldn't knock you, um, really at all for that. Cause if you're playing this at like 120, um, Tonguing that would be like tonguing sixteenth notes at I think like one fifty or something like that. You could opt to, to do a double tongue there. Um, if you if you have a good double tongue, you can definitely do that. So um, if you want to learn how to do that, I have a whole video on on double tonguing that you can check out. Um, so again, not a whole lot on this etude. Big old string of 16th notes. Um, just make sure you get the contour with the line. Don't stay stagnant with your with your um, dynamics. Make sure your tongue is very nice and crisp and bouncy. I really wouldn't um, play this like really short, like really good, and nice and light tongue, nice and bouncy. All right, so. Have at it, guys. Make sure you practice really hard, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.